Today she would be 77 years old. Kitty Lynn O'Neill, Corpus Christ March 24, 1946 Eureka November 2, 2018, was an American serious jumper, double, entertainer, and auto racer, frequently called the fastest woman in the world for her various speed records. Her latest outright land speed record remained until 2019. A sickness in youth left her hard of hearing, and more diseases in early adulthood cut off a lifelong in serious diving. O'Neill in this way moved into vehicle dashing and turned into a spearheading lady in the trick business in Hollywood. She showed up in various TV and film projects, loaned her resemblance to an activity figure, was respected at the 91st Foundation Grants, and in March 2023 with a doodle in the Google search. Early life John O'Neill, her dad, was an official in the U.S. Armed Force Flying Corps, who had been an oil wildcatter. He passed on in a plane accident during Kitty's life as a youngster. Her mom, Patsy Compton O'Neill, was local Cherokee. At five months old enough, O'Neill contracted synchronous adolescence diseases, losing her hearing. After her deafness became clear at two years old, her mom showed her lip perusing and discourse, in the end turning into a language teacher and helping to establish a school for understudies with hearing debilitation in Wichita Falls, Texas. As a youngster, Kitty turned into a serious 10-meter stage jumper and 3-meter springboard jumper, bringing home Beginner Athletic Association diving titles. She prepared start in 1964 with diving mentor Sammy Lee. Before the preliminaries for the 1964 Olympics, she broke her wrist and contracted spinal meningitis, compromising her capacity to walk and finishing her conflict for a situation in the Olympic diving group. Dashing and stunt profession by 1970, O'Neill had taken up dashing on water and land, partaking in the Baja 500 and Mint 400, she met doubles Hal Needham and Ron Hambleton while hustling bikes, and lived with Hambleton, quitting any pretense of dashing for a period. During the 1970s, she entered stunt work, preparing with Needham, Hambleton and Dar Robinson. In 1976, she turned into the main woman to perform with Tricks Limitless, the main trick office. As a double, she showed up in The Bionic Woman, Air Terminal, 77, The Blues Brothers, Smokey and the Bandit 2 and other TV and film creations. In 1978, her trick vocation roused a Kitty O'Neill activity figure, made by Mattel. In shooting for a 1979 episode of Wonder Woman, O'Neill was recruited to play out a trick of high trouble for Jeannie Epper, Linda Carter's standard trick twofold. Simultaneously, she set a latest high fall record of 127 feet, 39 meters, at the 12-story Valley Hilton in Sherman Oaks, California. She credited her little size, at 5 feet 2 inches and 97 pounds, 44 kilograms, for permitting her to endure influence powers. She later broke her record with a 180-foot, 55 meters, jumping from a helicopter. In 1977, O'Neill set a women standard for speed on water of 275 miles per hour, 443 kilometers per hour, and she held a 1970 women water skiing record of 104.85 miles per hour, 168.74 kilometers per hour she slowed down considerably. She retired from the stunt and land speed business in 1982 and ultimately made the move to Eureka 11 years later. A corner of the town's Pioneer Museum now holds the pieces that remain from her former life. And it was in this very spot that Kitty was introduced to the latest land speed sensation. I I don't like big city to commit people, so I move here. I don't fall in love with the people, so pretty. So I'm very family oriented. I like that.